In this video, I'm going to find the tangent of pi over 3. So what I like to do is put the, the radian, is put this problem, which is in radians, into degrees. The radians, of course, is pi over 3, and the degrees will be some number of degrees. So I start off with 2 pi is going to be equal to 360 degrees, and I need to get to pi over 3. And to do that, I divide both sides by 6. So because 2 pi divided by 6 is pi over 3, and when I divide 360 by 6, I get 60 degrees. So now I am really looking for the tangent of 60 degrees. And when you get much more familiar with radians and stuff, it might not be necessary to convert into degrees, but um, it's um, nonetheless. Now we go over and draw our unit circle so we can see what all these lengths and stuff are going to be. Um, right now it's um, a good thing to note that tangent of 60 is going to be equal to sine of 60 divided by cosine of 60. So uh, 60 degrees, that's way up here. So that, this right here is 60, this is 30. This right over here is 1, and now I need to find the other angles. To do that, I'm going to draw another triangle right over here. With this as 60, this as 30. So that means that this also has a 1, since it's just the same thing. And now since the 30 plus 30 is 60, this is an equilateral triangle. So this side over here also has length 1, meaning that this right over here, which is half of it, has length 1 half. And now I just need to find this length right over here, and then I'll have all the sides of the triangle, and I'm going to be able to find out the sine and cosine. So the hypotenuse is 1, and 1 squared is also 1. Um, so that's going to be equal to 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth. And then x squared, where x is this length over here. So it means that x squared is going to be 3 over 4, and x is square root of 3 over 2. So this right here is the square root of 3 over 2. So now the sine of 60 degrees, remember sine is, on a unit circle, is just the y. So that's going to be this number right over here. It's going to be square root of 3 over 2 divided by, and the cosine of 60, which is 1 half, because cosine is the x. Okay, now going to be square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. Those cancel. This is equal to the square root of 3. The tangent of pi over 3 is equal to the square root of 3. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.